All right, so we got this month's Monster Bass bag delivered today. A couple of cards as usual. First things up, we got Power Bait. This is just like an imitation crawfish. Power Bait makes super scented baits. Supposedly, it makes the fish hold on extremely longer. Um, I made the mistake of smelling a bag of these before and they are absolutely awful. So if you get some of these, don't open the bag and smell them. This would probably be good on like a jig trailer or even it tells you to use it on an offset EWG hook. Just any kind of, maybe even like a Texas rig. It's just an imitation crawfish. Just You just probably bounce it off the bottom. Four inch green pumpkin color, awesome bait. I guess we could take one out real quick and show it to the big camera. Oh God, I can already smell it. So that is what they're gonna look like. Nice green pumpkin color. Just your regular crawfish. Choo, gosh, they stink. We'll, do, we'll look at one of these hard baits. This is just a KVD 1.5 square bill crankbait. I specifically love using these where I fish just because every pond and lake around here are pretty much no deeper than five or six feet. There are some random ones here and there that are pretty deep, but these little shallow diving crankbaits are probably one of the only crankbaits I like to use around here. So it's a good color too. Next up, some more crawfish, Hal's Craw Worm. So this is some kind of crawfish worm mixture. I've never heard of Hal's, Haley's. I don't know if it's Hal's or Haley's. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the color is watermelon seed. Okay, does that make sense? It's crawfish down here, worm up here. I have no doubt in my mind that this would just absolutely tear up some bass, especially in the spring. I'd probably just throw this either weightless or on a Texas rig and just bounce it up. Especially if you're fishing like a little pond, you really don't have to get too intricate when you're fishing ponds, uh, lakes. I know you do have to get a little more intricate, but pond fish really, they kind of just eat anything you throw at them. I'm sure that these crawl worms would work amazingly. Next up, this is a Monster Bass brand square bill crankbait. This is the Alex Rudd edition. This is another 1.5 crankbait. If you guys don't know who Alex Rudd is, he's a partner with Monster Bass. I believe he has a good relationship with the owner. I'll leave a link to his channel, Alex Rudd Fishing, and he designed some of these crankbaits to go with Monster Bass, so that's super cool. It's always good to see other YouTubers getting out there, putting their name out there, and uh, partnering with some of these companies, coming up with these awesome ideas, because this, this crankbait just looks absolutely amazing. They also sent us some tapered, needle point hooks. These are just regular three-out worm hooks. These are always good to have just in your terminal tackle box in case you never know when you're just going to need a hook. They look extremely sharp. It says super strong, made from vanadium alloy steel in Singapore. Next up in the box, they got us some Trilene XL smooth casting line. I don't know if this is fluorocarbon or if it's just monofilament. It doesn't say anywhere on here. I have never used Berkeley Trilene line, so this is new to me. I'm glad I got it because now I, it gives me a chance to use it because it's just something I've never bought before. That's one of the things I like about these boxes is they send you stuff that normally you wouldn't buy. I mean, maybe other people buy this, but like I've personally never bought it. I'll definitely probably reline one of my reels that need a relining with this and see how it performs. I mean, pretty much all I can do. Next up in the box, they sent us a jig. This is a Stanley Tiggs. It's a casting jig, super light. My main thing that I check on these jigs is the weed guard. It's not directly centered over the hook, so that might pose a problem, but it's also not too stiff to go over the hook. Maybe it just needs to be pushed back this way a little bit. Either way, it's a pretty neat looking jig. The colors on it are pretty awesome. So I'm excited to go ahead and try that. And last up in the bag, we have Gambler, go fish. They do like to put these gambler baits in these bags. I've had good luck on these gambler baits. I've never seen them in store, but I actually, the last bag that I got, I used the gambler bait that was in there and I caught a ton of fish on them. So that's what it looks like right there. It's got some crazy fins on the middle of it and just it's got a nice curled tail on the bottom. It almost looks like a worm mixed with a brush hog or something, or maybe like a lizard mixed with a brush hog. Definitely love this month's Monster Bass Bag. If you guys were thinking about getting your own Monster Bass Bag, I'll leave a link in my description in this video. If you click on that link and then check out, use code SAVE15, it will get you $15 off your first bag. It takes a $25 bag down to 10 and the 35 Regional Pro bag down to 20 bucks. So all those baits for 10, 20 bucks, it's a really good deal. And it helps me out a ton if you guys use my link. But if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the Monster Bass bag unbagging. And I'll see you guys in the next video.